It is a KA70. <coughs> so earlier this week, I did a post uh, regarding a new 2018 project car and like what sort of build should I do and so on. So after spending like a few days looking over a few potential cars and whatnot, yesterday I finally uh, finalized and picked up the 2018 project car. So here it is. And yes guys, it is a KA70 yet again. Why do I say yet again is because previously over the past decade, I've owned numerous uh, KE to TE uh, variants, so I, I have really no idea like this is my number what KE like. I believe easily the 10 or 11 KE I, I own. So what I have here is a late model GL which is so commonly known as the black belt here because of the front big ass black bumper. So actually the front of the car reminds me a lot of my very first KE70 which is so sort of back belt white body and black bonnet which I will put a picture up here so basically I just picked up the car yesterday and the drive back was unpleasant because when I was about to leave Ipoh the rain actually stopped and it was cooling so I was actually quite happy because the rain stopped and it was cooling so it's supposed to be a quite a pleasant drive back to Penang but just right after I exit the Ipoh, Ipoh Toh heading towards the Ipoh Tunnel rain started pouring down heavily and yeah it was a grooving drive because no AC uh, windscreen was fogging up Water was coming in through the window and whatnot. And I cannot wind up the window because it was fogged up even badly. So, yeah, it wasn't really a, a pleasant drive at all. So this is what happened when it's raining on the highway and you don't have bloody aircon. We'll start with the engine bay because I know a lot of you would be wondering what engine is the car running and whatnot. So yeah, I'll show you guys. So the car is currently running a 20 watt sewer top which is from the AE101 which is running off a black top wiring. That's why you don't see any air flows around and you can run individual throttle bodies as I like it. So why? silver top over a black top because initial D. So if you guys notice, Takumi actually has a 20, 20 watt silver top as well if you actually watch the anime closely. Now I'll take you guys through some bits of pieces of the interior. So currently you have the stock KE70 dashboard with some add-on aftermarket RPM meter it goes all the way to 10,000 but I have no idea how high the car rev because I haven't tried it tried it out just yet but Takumi's one goes to 11 so I'm 1,000 RPM off Takumi's car so this is the water temp as you can see now it's at, water temp is at 70 degrees because I drove the car here just now from my house and luckily for me the car came with a mp3 player so at least it wouldn't be a quiet drive I know the car makes a lot of noise but some extra music would never hurt and also I got my favorite thing the hydraulic handbrake you can see here I got the whole hydraulic pump hydraulic reservoir for the fluid the whole thing and as you can see, the soundproofing and whatnot has already been scraped up by the previous owner which leave less job for me which is good and I can easily see if there's any rust or anything around the chassis area and the roof has been stripped off as well and 
seriously, this reminds me of my last KE70, which I still miss. <laughs> But it really yeah give me that nostalgic feel because that car was also stripped out like that but with only like half the dashboard intact and that car was a bitch to drive because it's bloody hot. This is hot as well because it doesn't have AC on it but it's not half as bad as the other KE. Thanks Mike. So now what uh, people are into Dua Lipa. I have Dua Kalipa. If you guys don't get the joke just now, in Bahasa, Dua means two. Dua Kalipa means I got two calipers. So I'm lucky enough the previous owner actually did a twin caliper setup for the hydraulic handbrake because so then I, the hydraulic handbrake doesn't have to share the same brake line as the foot brake. So just in case if the hydraulic brake line actually explode or leak, it doesn't affect the foot braking anything so the car is still fully drivable and it actually saved me a lot of money because it's not cheap to do up the whole bracket for the twin caliper and stuff so so far I haven't came up a name for the car yet the KE here because it's never easy to find a, to come up with a name so Adrian Lo has this A86 built series which is called Malaysian the making of Malaysian Takumi uh, something something so I'm still figuring out a name because definitely not Takumi because it's not an A86 but it does have a 20 waff wait I might just come up with a name so yeah I think I just came out with a name so this build will now officially be called Takumi Ta as in Bahasa Tak Tidak No and then Kumi so no Takumi, Takumi. Yeah, that will be the name of this build, Takumi. So that's the end for part one of Takumi. So if you guys have any comment or like, how should I build this? Like, should I be more focused on certain build? Like, is it for time attack, drift, or whatnot? Do leave your comment down in the comment box below. And if you guys like this video, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I'll see you guys next time.